I have returned. Fantastic. Welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be back. Well, it's even better to have you back here. And to answer your question as before, I have a, I have an Asus GTX 470 NVIDIA. I saw you look up the, uh, the good old device, the device manager. manager. Yeah, because I forgot the name of it. Yeah, I'm running with a, um, a 5770 myself. Right on, right on. Yeah. Got that DX11 that fucking nobody uses. <laughs> Maybe Seriously, one day man. it will be. Crisis 2. I downloaded Crisis 2. I can play that game on the extreme settings. Doesn't fucking use DirectX 11. It still uses DX9. And I'm like, really? Like, what I buy this car for? Yeah, that sucks. Um, but, you know, I'm sure more games as they come out will start to use that more and more. But anyways, um, I've also got a, I've got a, also got an AMD Athlon Times 4 uh, oh, that's 365 processor. I got to sit. Yeah. I think I got you there. I'm sitting on top of a um, AMD Phenom 2 uh, quad-core uh uh, 955 Black Edition, I'm pretty sure. Nice. It's I, I think that I dropped like 180 on the processor when it came out. Uh, it's a fucking good processor. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. What, what, what's your bandwidth at? Uh, I'm sitting at, uh, I'm sitting at, uh, what is it, 25 down and 3 up. Really? I've got to fucking find out what the hell is wrong, dude. I should be, like, the god of streaming. Like, I should, like, I, I wanted to try using a Flash Media Live Encoder because that's where you can get, like, 1080p quality. Like, that's where you get the best. You know, as good as XSplit is, I mean, I love XSplit, but the max is 720, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, the, uh, ma it depends on what website you stream to, but the, uh, max is, uh, the max is actually 1080. Oh. oh, that's my bad. I did not mean X, but I meant Justin TV. I stream with Justin oh, TV. Oh, yes, yes. You can do 1080 if you pay them to do it, you know. Really? Yeah. Fucking bastards, crazy. man. <laughs> yeah. But they're good. Justin TV is good at what they do. I'm just... Maybe it's probably just my monitor, because, dude, I've got a 5 up, and not to mention my computers. I mean, uh, it's, it's definitely not bad by any means. I definitely have a very good computer, so, I mean, I shouldn't even have, like, remotely any issues. But I run, I run into these issues. Yeah. My graphics card was flipping out on me the other day, but I think I upgraded the drivers and fixed it. I think that was all that was wrong. Well, at least you got a fix, man. Graphics, uh, graphics card issues are the worst. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, two uh, 7600 sitting behind me in my old gaming computer that I built like seven years ago that blew up like two years ago. But the cards are still good, and I was almost tempted to switch them out. But it would have made me sad, like, switching out, like, a, a new card that came out, like, a year ago to, like, cards that came out, like, eight years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it can still run StarCraft, though, man. I gotta tell you. Well, that's good. That's good. Um, it looks like Macro's letting me know Hazu has rebooted, and we're just waiting on him and the winner of, uh, of one of these next uh, things go down in the bracket, so... Under the speech, this song's about hope, joy, love, and defeat. All it takes is a peaceful autumn day for you to be happy and me to call the fate. And even after a fucked up childhood, I'm still trying. Mm, any of those Everest games finished up yet? Yeah, they are on Zelnaga Caverns now, so I'm taking a look. Mm -hmm. Looks like Everest won the first match of the best of, uh, the best of, uh, three. And pretty convincingly, 37 k to 22k wow yeah man hulk smash that's what Everest does <laughs> i want to say that i put up a good game of him a good game with him but i feel like i would be stroking my ego a little bit oh yeah just a, just a little bit i didn't go down like a bitch <laughs> considering it was cross positions terrence i put up a fucking hell of a fight but not gonna lie i got rolled right at the end fucking blue flame hell Make me cry. Everything I love on the search for some beautiful. Yeah. Emancipated. 
well, man. We're just waiting for Hasu to create that game so we can get going. It's going to be TQ Wannabe against Hazu. As it so would man. appear. You expensive? What do you mean am I expensive? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm talking about your web developing. Oh! But I was oh. Get it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a cheap uh, corner, corner whore, all right? Um. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good to know, man. Uh, I, I run a business that's able to pay for a lot of things and give me a lot of time to do this, so... Um, I'm not like the I'm not like the most expensive, but I, I definitely do beat out a lot of prices around the area. Yeah. I'm very competitive. Let me put it that way. I'm very competitive with my web design and, web and all that stuff. I've even won tournaments uh, national. Like I've got ni ninth place nationally um, for the U.S. in web design and, uh, and stuff like that when I was in high school. So I just kind of blew it up into a into a career here, you know. Yeah. How do you advertise for that? Is it word of mouth? Yeah, all word of mouth, dude. That's great, man. That's great when your business comes like that. Yeah, it's great, like casting a big event, getting an epic game, checking your email, and finding an email from a new uh, from a new client. <laughs> no doubt, dude. I'm just looking to kind of expand on my portfolio a little bit. I uh, did a lot of internship with. Um, with more towards the computer hardware side, but yeah, you know, lately I've been trying to ease more into the software side, so I want to build up kind of a portfolio with that. So, um, well, that's what you want to do, so man. The best way, uh, and the best way to build up your portfolio is to, you know, bite the bullet and do free work. I mean, when I was, a, I'm glad I was able, you know, when I was a kid, I was able to do a bunch of free work for people before I actually went, you know, pro, so to say. Um, and that built yep. up my resume quite well to, uh, you know, get me up to, to like, the pro status and stuff. Yep, no doubt. That's what I'm kind of doing along the lines with Zeke, since I'm one of the admins there. Uh, free work with them for the experience. I mean, we all do free work at the moment. Yes. But hopefully that'll change in the future. Hopefully, yeah. Definitely. And we'll see how stuff goes. I, I was really interested in... Uh, and a little more towards uh, security, but uh, I don't know, man. Software engineering seems to be my call. Well, that's cool, man. Software engineering is uh, is a pretty cool profession. No doubt. And I, I want to be able to make everything for everyone and just be that guy. There you go. I know a little bit about like um, I know enough code to be dangerous in any uh, any scenario, and I can learn code like that. So. Oh yeah, no doubt for sure. I mean, you start with one, you go to the other, you go to the other, you go to this one, go to this one. Now you're using all five of those together, and then you're going through, and you're seeing all this other code, and you're understanding where they're coming from and what's <laughs> going on. So you're able to pick things apart and, uh, and you know, do a good, you know, do a good job. I gotta on say learning. though, yeah. it's a bitch. It's a bitch to teach yourself. It it very well can be, but that's what I did. Yeah, man, I need to brush up. I first started out with uh, Python and. And I would sit there and like it was like reading a manual. You want to bash your head against a goddamn wall. That is just not the way to learn. Like it's a good place to start, but hands on is where it's at. Cause I can't I can't sit for like five hours reading through like the introduction guide booklet to like a programming language. It makes me want to cut my wrists. <laughs> Straight up, dude. Straight up. Well, you know what, man. You know it's uh you know it's a little bit better than books these days. Google.com. Well, well, ebooks. I guess are not like te like documentation. Well, I get you. Yeah, I get you for sure. Yeah. Sometimes right now we run on Ruby, so I'm gonna Ooh, be uh, Ruby on, Ruby on Rails. Get ready. Yeah. That Man, is, uh, the syntax for that looks a little weird. It's very object-oriented like, programming. Yeah, so. compared to something with like Python using Django or something like that, you know. Yeah. Well, now I've got to fix this, uh, fix the scoreboard here. Hasu versus TK, TQ wannabe. That's right. Da, 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 da. And it is a best of five, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. This is the semifinals? That's what quarter. it looks like. Right. Semifinals, yeah. There we go. We are ready to roll. I cheese you all games, Hazu. Apparently, <laughs> it seems that TQ beat Hasu in the last land that they were at. Ooh, I see. I see, I see. 
Well, hopefully we get this going and ready. As it will be on MLG Metalopolis. Yes, yes, yes. Well, thanks everybody once again for joining us and hanging out. There may not be many of you, but we're all going strong regardless. Because events need to be covered. And, uh, Getting a little cold there, man? Nope. Just felt like I'd uh, wear a hat. It's not a thousand degrees here anymore. Wear a hat. <laughs> That's right. I am Let's a hat see. man. I, I think I tuned in one time and I saw you wearing a pretty interesting hat. Got the goggles on. Rolling like... Yep, I, uh, I love my goggles. But yeah, I, uh, I usually never stream with a hat. Today was the first day actually in my streaming career without a hat with a uh, with the webcam on will you be my jedi master <laughs> dude the way i actually got into co uh, not coding sorry casting was like i went through like a game you know took notes from like things to comment on because a lot of the time people like casters have trouble making like the biggest thing is always entertaining people oh oh looks sorry. like you're getting a text message huh yeah I oh say, i called best, it <laughs> best uh best sec <laughs> text message ever is the is the, it was going to be nuclear launch detected but how could i not take like the terran girl saying hey incoming Honestly, yes. you can get all of the sounds from uh, Imba. I've got all the sounds from StarCraft One up on Imba TV. So why oh not man, I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, in our download <laughs> section. In, uh, I'm going media. there, dude. Going Do there, it. for real. Get it? Because uh, I love this. I love having them. I need a new ringtone. My ringtone is actually the Trollolololol song. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it'll be sitting in the middle of the Starbucks and that shit goes off and everyone looks at you. I'm like, what? Bitches don't know about my troll -lo 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 song. Yeah, but uh, for sure. Definitely. Biggest thing I noticed with like inexperienced casters is they don't like in the beginning of games when nothing is going on and they don't know how to just shout cast is like. They don't know what the hell to talk about. Yes. They'll like sit around like and say it like not just once but like thirty times like this is uh nothing special, pretty just uh standard opening here, like nothing out of the ordinary. It's like it's like no dude, go talk about like the map, go talk about the advantages and disadvantages. That's like a big thing. Is I mean I I'm personally I take more of the analytical side of casting. Yeah. So I'm uh, I'm more of the third uh, colored commentary type of thing, um, you know. I uh, looks like the countdown's gonna get started, so maybe we'll talk about this afterwards because we've got another game on the way right here, right now. Yes, it has been about a 15 minute break, um, but we will uh, we will be going strong right here. And here we go, TQ wannabe against VVV Hazu. It's going to be a TVP right here, and you are watching on an imbalance TV. I am MC Dust. With me is Popsicle Stick, as we are continuing in on the CASL. Fantastic. You want to take it away, man? Yeah, I will. Uh, let me just uh, fix these scores. They are not tied up. This is the first game between these two. So let's go ahead and get that fixed up there. We have Hazu spawning down in the 6 o'clock position as the green Protoss. And over here in the 9 o'clock position in the closest air distance is TQ Wannabe. So uh, as we start 